this tutorial on how to play Paris in the Rain by Love. We're in standard tuning. I've got a capo on the first fret. I'll be teaching you the chord progression in two ways. First, we're going to start out with the beginner way with our capo on the first fret. And if you're an advanced player, I'll be teaching you just the bar chords you can play without the capo. Thankfully, the chord progression is the same throughout the entire song. So we're going to start out here. I'm going to teach you the chords for the beginner version. So if you already know these chords, you can go ahead and skip a little bit ahead as well. We have an E minor. We have an A chord, we have a D major bar chord relative to the capo, and then we have a B minor. So those are the four chords, I'm going to teach you how to play those real quickly here. So for an E minor, your middle finger is on the second fret of the A string, your ring finger is on the second fret of the D, and we play all six strings. For an A chord, you're going to shift your middle finger down one. Your ring finger is going to go down one as well, so your middle finger is on the second fret of the D string, ring finger is on the second fret of the G, pinky is on the second fret of the B. And you play these five strings A, D, G, B, high E string. For a D major, you can play it as a bar chord, so you can play by barring your fifth fret relative to the capo with your index finger five strings down. And then with your ring finger, you can bar the D, G, and the B string, and you're trying to mute that high E. Or you can play with your pinky, ring finger, and your middle finger sandwiched on the seventh fret, and then your index finger will play on the fifth fret of that A. Either way, it's the same chord. And finally, for the B minor, we won't play it as a bar chord, although you can. We'll just play it as an open chord, so your index is on the 2nd fret of the A, middle fingers on the 3rd fret of the B, ring fingers on the 4th fret of the D string, and your pinkies on the 4th fret of the G string. And those are the 4 chords you need to know to play the beginner way. So, the progression goes like this, we start on an E minor, go to an A chord, we go to up to our D major chord, back to our B minor. And that's it. So, I like to play it like this. I go, I play the E, G, and the B strings, mute it, and then I play the B and the G strings. So, pluck, mute, B, G. Switch to your A, play the A, G, and the B simultaneously, mute, B, G up to your E or your, not your E flat, your uh, D major chord. And then back to our B minor. And then your B flat minor. and slow here. And that's it. You can play that progression throughout the entire song. So to play without a capo, this is the advanced way. We have an F minor chord. Oh, that sound good. F minor chord. We have our E flat major. We have a B flat chord. And we have a C minor. And those are the chords. So, if you're advanced, I'm going to assume you know how to play those chords. I just want to show you how you're playing the same thing with or without the capo. So, we're going to start on our F minor chord, jump to our B flat major, up to our E flat major, back to our C minor. So that's it. That's the chord progression for the entire song without the capo. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I went through this all pretty quickly, so if you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.